Hi students, this video, the concept of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic from real numbers is brought to you by greatbooster.in. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic. To know about this theorem, we need to know about prime numbers and composite numbers. You already know that the combination of prime numbers and composite numbers makes the natural numbers. Here we have the set of natural numbers beginning with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till n. Somebody asked me to divide these numbers into two groups based on some difference. Then I divided them like this basing on a difference. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 on one side and 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15 on other side. Basing on what I made this division. Let us see. Let us pick a number from this group and find out its factors. Say 5, its factors are 1 and 5. And take one more number. Let us take 11. Its factors are 1 and 11, the number itself. So what do we observe? In this set, every number is having two factors. Among those, one factor is always 1 and the other factor is the number itself. The numbers that have two different factors, among those one factor is 1 and the other factor is the number itself. Those numbers are called prime numbers. Now come to the second set and pick a number, say for example take 8, let us find its factors, 2 4s are 8, 2 2s are 4, so 2 into 2 into 2 equal to 8. Let us take one more number, let us take 12, 2 6s are 12, again find the factors for 6, 3 into 2, 3 2s are 6, so 2 into 3 into 2 equal to 12. So what do we observe from this set of numbers? The numbers that have at least one positive divisor other than one or the number itself are called composite numbers. So the difference between the prime numbers and the composite numbers is the prime numbers they have one and the number itself as their factors whereas the composite numbers they have at least one positive integer as a divisor other than one and the number itself. So these are prime numbers, these are composite numbers, the number one is neither prime nor composite. Now we are going to make some more interesting observations about the composite numbers. Let us take an example. A composite number 36 is given to two students named Rahul and Rakul and they are asked to find the factors of 36. Let us observe the ways that they are writing the factors for the number 36. Rahul took 2 to 18 is 36. Whereas on the other side Rakul has taken 3, 3 12 is 36. Now Rahul took 3, 3 6 are 18. Whereas on the other side Rakul took 2, 2 6 are 12. Rahul took 2, 2 3s are 6, Rakul took 3, 3 2s are 6. Let us write the factors found by Rahul 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 is equal to 36. Whereas on the side of Rakul 3 into 2 into 3 into 2 equal to 36. Now let us make a note of our observations from this example. The first thing that we observe every composite number is the product of primes. 36 is a composite number that can be expressed as a product of primes 2 into 3 into 2 into 3. What is the second interesting thing that we find here? The factorization of a composite number is unique except the order. Here we see the factorization of 36 in both the cases that is in case of Rahul and Rakul. The factors are same but the order is different. Now let us sum up the two interesting facts that we learnt about the composite numbers into a theorem. Every composite number is expressed or factorized as a product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factor occurs. This theorem is called the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So we learned what is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Now let us see what are its applications. The first one it is applied to prove the irrationality of numbers like root 2, root 3, root 5. The other important application is to explore when exactly the decimal expansion of a rational number say p by q, q not equal to 0 is terminating and when it is non-terminating repeating. This is all about the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. In the next video, we are going to see how the fundamental theorem of arithmetic is applied to prove the irrationality of numbers like root 2 and root 3.